The goal of AI is to produce a succession of fertilized eggs between successive inseminations. The first attempts to develop practical methods for AI were described by the Russian Ilya Ivanovich Ivanov. It is an important tool to improve the reproductive performance of birds especially broiler breeders in Turkey where fertility is low due to heavy body weight. A vent off AI is well developed technique in cattle is not so well developed in poultry because no standard technique is available to store poultry semen for a long period. Semen collected from one cock is sufficient for inseminating 5 to 10 hens depending upon the semen volume and sperm concentration immediately with or without dilution using semen diluents at 1 to ratio. To accomplish this, weekly inseminations must replenish the sperm population in the utero-vaginal junction sperm storage tubules. Birds do not have an estrus cycle that synchronizes copulation with ovulation. Alternatively, about 7 to 10 days before their first ovulation, hens mate. Sperm ascend the vagina and then enter the sperm storage tubules. At the onset of egg production, individual sperm are slowly released from the sperm storage tubules, transported to the anterior end of the oviduct, and interact with the surface of the ovum. Whether fertilized or not, over the next 24 to 26 hour the ovum is transported though the oviduct, accruing the outer perivitaline layer in the infundibulum, the albumin in the magnum, the shell membrane in the isthmus, and the hard shell in the uterus, also referred to as the shell gland, before the position. If fertilized, the blastoderm in the first laid egg consists of 40,000 to 60,000 cells in the turkey and 80,000 to 100,000 cells in the chicken. AI in poultry is a three-step procedure involving one semen collection, 2, semen dilution and 3, insemination. The second step may be omitted if neat semen, undiluted, is to be used for inseminations within 30 minutes after collection. Rough handling should be avoided, if not it may develop fear reaction, which affects the semen volume during ejaculation. An AI program for poultry, semen collection, milking, is done in manual. Usually cocks start producing semen from the age of 16 weeks but the fertilizing capacity of the semen is low. So the cocks from 22 or 24 weeks of age are used for semen collection. The natural color of poultry semen is white or pearly white. Heavy breed male can produce 0.75 to 1 milliliter semen and light breed male can produce 0.4 to 0.6 milliliters of semen. A male can be used thrice in a week for semen collection with a gap of one day. 
for semen collection, a team of two members are generally involved, one for restraining the male and the other for collecting semen. Avoid contamination of semen with feces and feather. All equipment used for the purpose should be thoroughly cleaned and dry before use. Step 1. Restrain the bird for semen collection. There are several things that should be kept in mind when choosing a location for semen collection of bird. Step 2. The bird is held in a horizontal position by a person at a height convenient to the operator who is attempting to collect the semen. Step 3. To collect semen the operator should place the thumb and index finger of the left hand on either side of the cloaca and massage gently. Step 4. By his right hand the operator should hold a collecting funnel and with the thumb and index finger massage the soft part of abdomen below the pelvic bones. Massage should be rapid and continuous until the cock protrudes the pipula from the cloaca. Once the pipula is fully protruded, the previously positioned thumb and index finger of the left hand are used to squeeze out the semen into the collecting funnel. Normal color of the semen in pearly white or cream colored. Yellow semen and semen contaminated with blood, urates, feces or other debris should be avoided. Do not allow semen to contact water. If debris or contaminants are observed in pooled semen, carefully aspirate contaminates from the sample before mixing with additional diluent with the semen place the diluted semen in a cooler or refrigerator, 3 to 12 degrees Celsius, to cool down. Insemination must be carried out when majority of the birds completed laying since a hard-shelled egg in the lower end of the avituct obstructs insemination and lowers fertility. The hens, n equals 100, was inseminated six times from 31 to 62 weeks of age. In practice, inseminating chicken after 3 p.m. obtained better results. In turkey flocks much better results are obtained if insemination is done after 5 p.m. It is difficult to inseminate non-laying hens. Usually insemination is done when the flock reaches 25% egg production. Hens are inseminated twice during first week. Then at weekly intervals. Step 1. All equipment used for insemination should be thoroughly cleaned and dry before use. Step 2. Bird is held by the legs with the left hand down and tail tucked back and against the operator chest. Step 3. Load some of the semen into the AI gun or in micropipette ready for insemination. Step 4. The thumb of the right hand is placed against the upper lip of the vent then with a rounding motion press the abdomen muscle. Do not squeeze with fingers but apply pressure evenly with the palm of the hand. Step 5. When the avituct is averted, the second operator inserts the syringe into avituct as far as it is going inside without exerting pressure. Step 6. The insemination apparatus is introduced into the vagina about 1 inch and semen is deposited at the junction of vagina and uterus. Release the bird and repeat the process. Chicken, 0.05 milliliters, once in a week, turkey, 0.025 milliliters once in every two weeks, ducks, 0.03 milliliters once in every five days, goose, 0.05 milliliters for every seven days.
It has been observed that the males produce more semen of good quality during morning and females produce more fertile eggs when inseminated around 9 p.m. Oh. Oh.